Hello, Salaam Alaikum. So, we are making today a refreshing roast faluda fruit salad. So, it's a mix of faluda flavor and like a fruit salad because it's got custard and fruits in it. So, the first step is to make the custard. So, I'm having here milk. I'm boiling up the milk. To the milk, I'm adding in sugar. When the milk boils up, we'll add in the custard powder. So, the custard powder is mixed in normal room temperature milk and it's mixed really well and when milk starts to warm up we'll mix in the custard liquid to it also we'll add in a uh, crushed vermicelli because we need to have a a faluda texture so i do not have here faluda safe so instead of that i'm adding in crushed vermicelli and it cooks up really fast this is the thin vermicelli so meantime we could cook both the vermicelli and the custard together and just cook it to the desired consistency and when you switch off the flame also it will thicken it up next step is to prep the fruits i have here almost all kinds of fruits from berries to apples pear banana mangoes pineapple everything so first step i'm chopping up the bananas and i've added in chopped dates also is really good if, I, if you are adding in pineapples make sure you cook the pineapple so it doesn't uh, curdle the faluda mix and then i've added in nuts i've mixed all the fruits together and then to the fruits i have added in condensed milk and mixing it really well because it needs to have a sweet base and then then i've used the subja seeds i've just added them to the little milk so it's starts to blossom up and to that i'm adding in rose syrups now you could use in any syrup of your choice and this rose milk syrup i've added into the fruits mix so now the fruit salad is ready now we could add in the custard to this the vermicelli custard mix in really well and then we'll be adding in cream so you could use in fresh cream tin cream thick cream any cream now if you don't have cream you could just add in little milk because you need to have the semi thick consistency so there are faluda fruit salad is ready last step is to add in jelly now if you don't have jelly you could make a jelly from scratch by gelatin so i'm having here halal gelatin so i'm using one sachet which is around 10 mg uh, 10 ml and it's good for two and a half cups of water to be a jelly so so i have here around four tablespoon or three tablespoon of really warm water to that hot water i'm adding in the jelly sachet and just mixing it up it should be warm hot water then only the jelly gelatin would mix up and then if something's there unmixed just pop it into your microwave and it will be fine you know, or otherwise you could double boil so it's totally up to you guys how do you want to prepare the gelatin and then i have here around two and a half cups of water to the water i'm adding in rose essence and rose syrup so the rose water gives it a nice add-on flavor and the rose syrup you could add in these two or you could make any jelly of your choice it could be a strawberry mango pineapple or any jelly the store-bought jelly will also be fine so i've mixed this and i'll be adding in the gelatin to this and then for instant jelly i'll just have to keep them in the freezer for some time and then to the fridge so there our instant homemade rose jelly is ready now the last step is to just serve it all and rock your iftar table or your party table and this looks really vibrant refreshing and it tastes really good also so i hope you guys really love this recipe and would try it out do let me know your feedback do comment do like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to support me thank you for watching and have an amazing blessed ramadan